one. Not much taller, but at least a little bit taller. Anyway, like I said, I'm Fairy Mare, and I live here in the forests of Athens County. Sometimes you can find me at the Athens Public Library, where I put on my librarian costume. They don't know that I'm a real fairy. Isn't it fun to play dress up? Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a fairy home in your very own backyard. Can you think of some things that fairies might like to have in their homes? Herb gardens are a very tasty place to build a fairy home. Mmm, basil! When you're collecting your materials for your fairy home, it's really important to keep other things in mind. If I pick this whole flower, then butterflies and bees won't be able to use it. That's a bummer and not very fairy-like. So maybe I'll just take a couple of petals. Look! A cardinal feather! Forests are also a really great place to build a fairy home. sure is hard work, huh? Whew. Collecting bark, you want to make sure you're not ruining an insect or a snake's home, so be very careful. <gasps> Look! Hi, friends! You know what? I like waterfront property. I think I'll build right here next to the creek. The creek's really low right now. But sometimes you can find small things like salamanders and macroinvertebrates underneath the rocks. So be really careful when you're turning them over. Nobody here! Let's take a look at the materials we've collected so far. We've got moss, flowers, leaves, and some feathers. Nice big pawpaw leaves. Some really cool creek rocks. <gasps> Look at all this bark. I also brought a couple of things from home. Some of my favorite little pieces of glass and other little glass beads. Be very careful if these things are sharp. A rock with a fairy on it that a good friend gave to me. And these fun little animals. I found a fairy friend to help me. She's clearing away a space right now for our home. Wow, looks move in ready to me. Well, I think we built a pretty great home. What do you think? What's this? Special delivery from a fairy friend. It's a poem by William Butler Yeats. He was a great friend of the fairies. Let's read it. The Stolen Child. Where dips the rocky highland of Sleuthwood in the lake, there lies a leafy island where flapping herons wake the drowsy water rats where we've hid our fairy vats full of berries and the reddest stolen cherries. Come away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Where the wave of moonlight glosses, the dim gray sands with light, far off by furthest rosses, we foot it all the night, weaving olden dances, mingling hands and mingling glances, till the moon has taken flight. To and fro we leap, chase the frothy bubbles, while the world is full of troubles and anxious in its sleep. Come away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Where the wandering water gushes from the hills above Glencar, in pools among the rushes that scarce could bathe a star, 
We seek for slumbering trout and whispering in their ears. Give them unquiet dreams, leaning softly out from ferns that drip their tears over the young streams. Come away, O oh human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than you can understand. Away with us he's going, the solemn-eyed. He'll hear no more the lowing of the calves on the warm hillside, or the kettle on the bob sing peace unto his breast, or see the brown mice bob round and round the oatmeal chest. For he comes, the human child, to the waters and the wild, with a fairy hand in hand, for the world's more full of weeping than he can understand. I hope you enjoyed your time with me this afternoon and with the Athens Public Library. Take care.